The idea of a command center came about probably as early as 2005. We toured with Dell, their command center, for computer repair, maintenance, and supply. And Dell had a room with a 15 or 20 people working in it, everybody responsible for managing this worldwide, and a worldwide map that really showed them where they were running into a delay, they couldn't get a part, they hadn't sent a repair team. And it was really through a yellow, a red, yellow, or green light that they knew whether they had to intervene or not. And I thought that was a brilliant way of managing flows and processes and wondered if we could develop the same in a hospital, how wonderful that would be for providing care. So in terms of thinking about command centers, they're in many industries around the world. They're just not in hospitals yet. If you think about an airport, airports have air traffic control center. It's all of the scheduling people, the booking people, the operations people, the temperature in the airplane, where there might be turbulence, is all monitored. And the air traffic control center is really who's watching over that, ensuring that everything's occurring as it should, helping if a problem arises, intervening if there's something that people are not seeing, using data and analytics to make things move smoother. That's the kind of opportunity we're looking for in a hospital. So the purpose of the command center at Humber River is really to help us smooth patient care flow and processes. You have to imagine that there are thousands of processes occurring every day with hundreds of patients in a hospital, hundreds of staff. The command center is really an opportunity to use our data, to draw our digital data out, to flash it up on a screen and to pull together all of the decision makers around patient flow, staffing predictions, rooms that might be required, admissions, discharges, all of those kinds of flow processes, have all of those people work together looking at that data, looking at the analytics, predicting ahead of time if there is a problem, a concern, something they can do to smooth the patient's flow, to smooth our processes, to save time, to make our work more efficient, and particularly to create a high reliability environment where care is being provided most appropriately and in the safest manner possible. So one of the things that we see are, uh, in many countries is an increasing uh, population, increasing uh, an aging of the population, and all of this drives an increase in cost on the healthcare system. And this is an unsustainable situation and something dramatic has to happen that really changes the game. We look at the command center as a way in which we can deliver far more care, far better care, for the same amount of staff and cost uh, that we have today. So Humber River Hospital has gone through a digital transformation and through that transformation we've achieved a tremendous amount of benefit. We kind of measure that by 20 percent. What we're looking at as our next phase of our journey is to double that efficiency and it's the command center that's really going to contribute to achieving that level of benefit. So the command center is going to create additional bed capacity um, in our hospital without having to actually hire new people or buy net new beds. We're going to create about 40 net new beds, which is essentially a small hospital within our hospital. Humber has great technology partners. Meditech delivers a great EMR. Thoughtwire makes apps to turn beds. They use ASCOM phones. They use MedWorks. They use Steris. They get data from the Ontario Health Department. Each of those are great systems, good at managing particular aspects of care. But what's missing is a system that listens to all of those to spot the opportunities between them. That's what the command center is about. If you're going to take real-time action to de-risk, to synchronize care, here at Humber River, you have to listen to all those systems. That's what we're doing.